Hey team, Master Sheila here. Today I wanna to talk about how to keep your kid inspired in their martial art training. Now, whether your child is a black belt has been training for years and years, or they just got started on their journey, I think this video will be beneficial to everyone. So with that, let's get started. The way I'd like to start this video off is I like to talk about something. The interest that you show in the things that are important to you, your kids will also show that interest. Here's a great example. I see firsthand parents that really truly care about their student or their kids' grades, whether they sit down with them and go over their homework or they praise them to me and show the report card. The parents that really show the interest in their kids' schooling, those kids just show the interest as well and they show the best grades. They absolutely do. So what happens is when you show interest in the things that are important to you, your kids will as well. I know it sounds simple, and I know it's something that you say, oh, of course we do, but trust me, sometimes we get busy in life and we forget to do these things. So showing the interest is important, not just dropping your kids off, get into the next program, get into, get into baseball practice afterwards or whatever else it is. Take a 30 seconds and really show the interest. Ask your kid how they're doing. Ask them what they learned today. These little things really make an impact. Now, what else can you do to show interest? Well, I will say this, parents that actually train in the program as well, their kids absolutely show interest because you know what you're doing? You're training as well. You absolutely are interested because you're doing it, right? The family that kicks together, sticks together, that happens all the time. So you wanna show the ultimate way of showing interest in your child? Get started yourself, why not? Nothing but benefits with that, right? Little shameless plug-in, but I think you should know that. Now, let's talk about some other ways that are important to keep your kid inspired in their training. Second note is, if you can just have something that keeps it fun for them at home, some areas that they can train in, a little dojo or dojane, a little area that they train in, keep it fun, make, make training fun, make it part of them, right? Uh, it, it makes that difference. You know, I'll never forget, I had a really amazing uh, kid in the martial arts. This kid was phenomenal. I, I could not tell you the future that I saw for this child. You know what happened though? The parents showed more interest in softball for the kids. When they went home, they would you know, help the kid with their pitches and their uh, hitting the ball, the ball and all this other stuff. It was great, but I saw such a vision for the kid in martial arts, the parents didn't show that same vision. Guess what happened? The kid didn't last. And I see that all too many times. So you have to show interest. If you truly care about their training in martial arts, you gotta show it's important, right? So make it fun for them too. You know, let them go home, let them tra train some of the things, get a punching bag, something that they can work on. It makes a difference. Trust me, the things that you show that interest in, they're gonna show that interest in as well, right? Now, lastly, what's important is to keep keep them inspired, to keep them training, you have to give them their why. And sometimes it has to change. Let me give you a great example. So when I got started in martial arts, my parents, my mom and my dad, they had two reasons for getting me started. Number one was I was an asthmatic and I was not able to do anything. I wasn't even allowed to do gym class. My asthma uh, was so bad at that point. The second thing was my dad especially wanted me to be stronger. He wanted me to be able to stand up to bullies and just to really hold myself with that confidence. Well, guess what? Through my training, both of those things kind of went away. I, I never, I, my confidence was skyrocketing because I knew how to use martial arts if I needed to. And my asthma just really, you know, started to dwindle and I became an athlete in the martial arts and just an athlete in general. So guess what happened? I got all these benefits from it, but then you have to show the growth after that. So when my dad, I'll never forget this conversation, we were walking in the parking lot one day and he said, I want you to have your own martial arts school. Wow, what a vision my father had for me. And guess what? Here's my school, right? It happens. The vision that you show for your kids, they're gonna have those visions as well. You never know. And I was a little kid when that happened. I was very, very young. So you never know what that does for the child, but you have to show the vision and you have to show the why. If, it, if it's a vision is changing, you gotta show them that too, right? Let's say you got them started and they're, they're, a, they're a black belt, they're doing phenomenal. What's their why now? You have to have a reason to continue their training. Parents, remember, in anything in life, school, martial arts, sports, anything that's important to you for your children, there's something that I want you to know. Parents quit first, 
quids, uh, kids quit second. I'm gonna say that again. Parents quit first, kids quit second. Don't forget that, and I think your kids will do wonderful in life. Please like this video, share it, and I'll see you in our next video. Take care.